It's actually supposed to be nice again today, like 60 something, 62, 64. But I'm about to work out real fast. It's Friday, so last day of the week, gotta end strong. And um, then we're going out. Maybe to a bakery, into a bookstore. We'll see where the morning takes us. Look at the workers over there. I wanna know if they can see me. I can see them. It probably means they can see me. Here I am in almost the same spot again. But it's a new day. Um, I don't have a hair tie. I need to remember to go. And I, the worst part is, is I went to CVS once already to get a lock for my work locker. Did not get hair ties after I realized that I left all my hair ties. Like not even one. Like I usually have at least one on my wrist. Not even one. <sighs> this coffee is actually really good. I want to have two cups today. Just saying. Anywho. Um, today's Friday. Friday. Today's Friday. This has my, my, been my little, my little spot. Ugh. By the window that I've been like doing my makeup in. And then usually at this time my roommate is gone. She works a little bit earlier than me. So she's gone. And yeah, and then I talk to you. So I'm gonna do my makeup real fast, talk about how it's going. Um, I feel like people like, okay, th this may not be true, but like, I'm not gonna say like, oh my God, I love New York and I could live here. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I could live here, but like visiting, definitely a good time. And granted like, I'm doing it on, you know, somebody else's dime and that may be why it's so fun. <laughs> but um, it's still pretty cool. Like, I think it's still a great opportunity. And I think like that should definitely be called out. Like, yes, like someone else is paying for my stay and like I get money for food and stuff like that. It's still a really great opportunity and it's what you make it, you know, like what you decide to do or don't do you know, with your time. Like, I feel like even if I just took the time to like rest and say, which I completely am. Um, when I'm at home, I get five hours of sleep every day, sometimes less. There's only one day a week where I get, sorry, there's like a scaffolding thing outside my window and I keep thinking like someone's gonna come up it. Anyway, um, there's only like one day a week at home that I get more than five hours of sleep. So even with that, like I'm resting because every day I'm making sure I get eight hours, if not nine hours of sleep. Like even last night I was like, okay, I could edit a video tonight, but I'm not going to because I know I'm sleepy and I wanna get in this bed and I wanna rest and I wanna relax and I wanna read some. So that's exactly what I did. I got in the bed. I didn't edit the video and I laid down and it was great. It was a great time for me. <laughs> um, but anyway, I have like my hair tied in a knot, literally. And I don't think it's gonna stay super long. I think it's gonna come, end up coming out, but it's just gotta stay till I can at least get to the CVS and get a hair tie. <laughs> so, yeah. So today we, or well yesterday, I think I talked about this in my first video, but I went to meet my friend and we went to, I think they're called Chocolateries. Like a Chocolatery, I think that's what they're called, but basically it's a place with it. They make chocolate and other things like with chocolate that they've made, right? So um, we went there and like had this hot chocolate that literally tastes like we were drinking melted chocolate like straight up from Willy Wonka's chocolate fountain or cho yeah chocolate river like it was amazing um and it was like a spicy hot chocolate it was so good but it was like straight chocolate like I had dessert for breakfast pretty much um and then 
then I was like, well, I need to eat some food before I go to work. And there's a burger place that literally just popped up on my thing. Like, knew nothing about this burger place. It just popped up on my Google Maps. Like, because I, I, I've been like tagging places that I want to go and I want to see. And so the this place popped up. And, um, oh, I do have hair. Oh, I have hair pins. This might be helpful. Shoot, I'm tying my hair down. This will be helpful temporarily. So I was like, well, yeah, let's go grab this burger real fast. And it was delicious. It was called Black Black Tap Burgers. Black Tap Craft Burgers, I think it's called. If, not, if it, that's not the correct name, I will change it. I'll put it on the screen. But... <laughs> Um, it was really good. That burger was slamming. Oh my God, it was so good. Like to the point that I'm like, I'm gonna be, which I'm literally going to that same area today. And I'm like, maybe I should just get another burger. But I'm just like, no, you should try other things. But maybe I should just get another burger because it was so good. It was so good. They also, oh my God, they had chicken sandwiches too. Actually, I might go back. But anyway. <laughs> I can't find my hairpin, so I just put it in my head so I can crisscross them and make them more secure. Oh, here's one. So, but I'm going back to the same area today because there's a bakery in that area that I want to go to that someone told me about. It's called Dominic, Dominique Ansel Bakery. And it has like a 4.3 on Google Maps, like bruh so did the first of all so did the burger place that had like a really good rating for something for like 4.3 stars on the map so i'm like it's gotta be good so i'm gonna go there and then i'm gonna go to a bookstore today i'm gonna be by myself my friend is not meeting me today so um she has like another party that she's going to for you know because she has a life and it's not like it's not like that but we're supposed to meet up tomorrow and I think tomorrow we'll go to she was telling me there's like a Christmas thing in Bryant Park so maybe there the only thing is tomorrow is Saturday and like I feel like everything is just gonna be super busy but that's also like the nature of the beast like I only had three weekdays you know here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's fine. I think I'll go the furthest um, today and then tomorrow I'll stay a little closer. So yeah, it's going really good. Um, it. I'm not gonna lie, like it, it's like a little intimidating to be constantly going places by myself. I'm um, not gonna lie and say, oh, it's like super easy. Oh, like you'll get used to it. I don't think I'll get used to it, but I definitely do think like, Paying attention and like paying attention to your surroundings is the biggest thing. Looking at the signs, like even like watching people without like staring at them, just because like I feel like you can sometimes you can anticipate when someone's going to speak to you when you watch them, and then like doing your best to not look uncomfortable because I also feel like that's a way for people to that's a way for people to kind of like pick you out, like if you look like you're uncomfortable um and all that so i don't know that's just my opinion on it that's how i'm looking at it and handling it um i keep google maps up my google maps i'm pretty sure it's connected to my sister i'm pretty sure actually i need to text her and ask her because i meant to do that before i left because i can see her on mine so i'm pretty sure she can see me on hers like where i am exactly i feel like that's like a good security feature to have like somebody have your google maps and then like also like telling others so like i told my work friend where i was going um i told my my friend friend that lives here like where i was going so also doing that i think is is helpful because then like if you really do you know have a misstep or you end up being late for wherever you're supposed to be at least somebody knew where you were going and they can like investigate you know so and obviously let's hope that never happens that they have to investigate but 
just that's the way I think of it. Like if somebody has to find me, they'll know where to start looking. So, um, and I think that I, I think that's super important and definitely definitely something to like remember to do. Um, I think especially as like women who consider themselves independent. I'm not gonna say I'm an independent woman because first of all, they hate that. Second of all, um, I'm not like trying to be in it like super independent woman where I do everything by myself it's just that I like to do things and then if I have to go by myself I'm gonna go so in that sense like you like you should still tell people where you're going you should still like keep that portion of the safety precaution because it's like okay hey like this is where I want to go if you want to go with me that's great and then you may get someone who wants to go with you versus like hey this is where uh, you know or versus is like not telling anybody at all and then they're like oh well dang like I could have went with you like if you want to ask me um um and then it also I think sometimes it comes off as like independent women just want to be by themselves and they don't want anybody to go with them and that might be your vibe that's not really my vibe um I'm like if somebody else wants to go like come on and go and we can go together so um I just there are things and places I want to go and I don't want to the thing like oh you'll be by yourself to hinder me especially when like I can take the steps to, to make sure that I'm being as safe as possible obviously you never know what's going to happen but uh, I will take the steps to be as safe as possible anyway I'm gonna finish my makeup and things so I can get out of here my plan is to oh well I was supposed to leave like 20 minutes ago but it didn't happen. So at this point in the trip, I felt like a subway OG. I was getting on the subway and going everywhere. So I took a ride back out to Soho because I wanted to visit a specific bakery. It has like a 4.8 on Google Maps. It is called the Dominique Ansel Bakery. And it's just this little big shop and it has like a cafe as well. They had of course lots of sweets. They also are famous for their cronut which I got one of and they also had sandwiches. I ended up getting a sandwich that had like a little side salad on it. It was a cordon bleu sandwich, chicken and ham and cheese. Oh my god it was so good. The sandwich was actually better than the cronut okay. <laughs> it was so good. I sat back in their little like garden cafe and ate and it was such a vibe such a vibe so then i headed down the street to mcnally jackson bookstore so this was just a cute little bookstore i happened to pass and i wanted to see inside and it was it was beautiful all the books laid out like so many cute little options um they had categories but they were a little hard to understand or like see if I had more time to like really browse and if I knew what I was looking for, I definitely would have stayed longer. It was a cute vibe. Then I took another walk to Housing Works Bookstore. Now this bookstore was interesting because it literally had a thrift, like thrift store within the bookstore. It was like up the stairs. They had clothes, bags, accessories, all these different types of things in the bookstore. This is really what I loved about New York. Like everything was just so unique. Stuff I had never seen before. So then I took another walk. I was actually walking closer to my work at this time. So, and I found this little, it, it was like a tea shop. Whistle and Fizz tea shop. They had different types of teas, matcha, coffees. And I decided to get, it was called a Fizz drink, but it reminded me of like a, just a lightly carbonated tea, green tea. It was so good. And it had like lemon and I forget what the other herb was. It was in mint, ah, it was so good. And then I visited the famous Strand Bookstore. Oh my gosh. What is it, like 18 miles of books? Are you kidding me? It was so amazing. Just like the vibe of being in there, I wish I could have spent more time in here, but I went in. This store, I went in with the purpose. I wanted to get a bag, which I got that one there that was a well-read woman is dangerous, oh my gosh. And then I also got one book. They also had these book um, date, blind date with the book. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh my God, so cute. It just had like a little picture on the outside and it was wrapped up. You did not know what the book was. One day I'm going to get one of those. One day. <laughs> that was my fourth day in New York. I really enjoyed myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Thank you guys for continuing to come back and watch my videos. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you so, so much. If you haven't seen my previous vlog, I will link it on the screen. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, do so by hitting my face down below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next one. Bye.